All right, hello, and welcome to the Geometry Chapter 11 quiz review. So this was the actual quiz that we would have been taking if we would have had school. All right, so you'd see that we got our area formulas. We've we've done quite a bit of area. We got triangle, one half base times height. Uh, you know, all the way up through the regular polygon, one half apothem times perimeter and these are your circle stuff circle area part of the circle circumference part of the circumference all right so with that said let's do some problems the first question is uh, true or false the radius of a regular polygon all right well let's let's draw that if I were to draw a regular polygon over here The green line would be a radius, and the red line would be an apothem. All right, so let's see if this is describing a radius. The radius of a regular polygon is a segment that goes from the center to the vertex. Yeah, I would say that's true. True. All right. Whereas an apothem goes from the center and is perpendicular to the side. All right, next. This is a this is one that I put on here because I get frustrated when you guys don't know how to square something like this. So this is the value of two root five squared is ten. Let's do that. That's two root five times two root five. So we could do two times two, which is four. Root five times root five, which is five which is 20 so that is false but if you plug that in your calculator and you don't put parentheses in guess what you're gonna get you're gonna get 10 but we know that whenever you plug this in your calculator make sure you put parentheses in it number three for any circle the ratio of circumference to diameter is pi is that true if you take any circle and divide the circumference by diameter you get pi. That is absolutely true. That is a wonderful thing in mathematics. I love it. Next, the central angle of a hexagon is 30. Well, let's draw a hexagon. Six sides. This is a central angle right here. Now, how many central angles are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So if you do 360 divided by 6, you get 60. So therefore, the central angle of a hexagon is not 30. We'll put false for that. Next, given a figure with lengths measured in units, the area of the figure is always measured in units squared. That's just a true statement. Okay, next, on to some multiple choice. Write the letter of the correct answer in the blank the right. Uh, here we go. Find the area of the figure. Now this is a, an irregular shape, so I'm going to split it up. We can split it up there, which means we got ourselves a 5 by 10 rectangle, so the area of that is 50. And then we've got a trapezoid with... 7 and 15. Now for 7 and 15 for a trapezoid, if you remember, you have to do the average of the bases times the height. So you do 7 plus 15 divided by 2. Alright, so the average of 7 and 15 is 11, and then you multiply that by the height. So if this is 10 and this is 6, that leaves the height to be 4. So 11 times 4 is 44. So that makes this a area of 44. So we're going to do 50 plus 44, which gives us 15. This is not 15. This is 15 minus 5. This is 10. Even the best get us right. Uh, 
even the best get it wrong. It's about knowing when you get it wrong. All right, so now we're going to do the average of 7 and 10. So 7 plus 10 divided by 2, the average is 8.5. You take 8.5 times 4, you get 34. That's better. So now we change this to 34. And the answer would be 84. So we're going to put D as the answer for that one. Oops. Happens. All right, next. What is the measure of angle X? Now, angle X is there. That's not a central angle. But we can find the central angle, which is that, by doing 360 divided by 8, because it's an octagon. So 360 divided by 8 is 45. All right, so now we've got a triangle that looks like this. There's our X, and this is 45. Now the thing about this is those are radii, and those are the same, which makes this an isosceles triangle, which means that this is the same as that. If you remember the isosceles triangle. So we're going to use the isosceles triangle and do 180 minus 45. And now we're going to cut that in half. It would be 67 and a half. That's what the answer is. So the answer is B, 67 and a half. Okay, next. Find the area of a regular hexagon. Now, stop right there. Regular hexagon. We can go up here, and the regular polygon area is one half apothem times perimeter. So, area is one half apothem times perimeter. All right, let's fill it in. The apothem is seven, easy enough. And the side length is 10. Now, how many sides? does a hexagon have? It's got six. So the perimeter would be six times ten. Six tens. If one side is ten and there's six of them, the perimeter is sixty. Now you plug that into your calculator and figure it out. Two ten. There we go. I'm going to put B as the answer for that one. Number nine, find the area of the shaded region. This would have been like 11.3 part two. So in this scenario, we're going to start with a rectangle and subtract two circles. So that's base times height minus two pi r squared. Pi r squared for a circle. And then we just got to figure out what the dimensions are. So let's find the area of the shaded region. If the radius of the circles are 2. So if the radius is 2, easy enough here. But what are the what's the base and height of this rectangle? Well, the height is 2 radii. So the height is 4 and the base is 4 radii, so 2 4 6 8. It's a 4 by 8 rectangle. So we got a rectangle minus two circles. You can plug that into our calculator and we get uh, four times eight, whoops, four times eight minus two pi times two squared, about 6.8, 6.9, there we go. C is the answer for that one. Number 10. One diagonal kite is four times as long as the other. If the area of one one of the kites is 18, find the area. If the if the area of the kite is 18, find the length of the shorter diagonal. So let's draw our. Uh, here's our rhombus. Nope, oh, it's a kite. Sorry. There's our kite. It says the one of the diagonals is four times the other one. So if this diagonal has a length of x, that means that this diagonal has a length of 4x. We'll call it like that. And now we're going to use the di uh, area of a kite formula, which is right up there. 
and we'll go ahead and plug in. It tells you that the area is 18. We'll plug in x for one of those, and we'll plug in 4x for the other one. So those are plugging into my diagonals. Alright, and I'm running out of room here, but 18, that's x times x, that's a half times 4, so half of 4 is 2, 2x two squared. Now divide the 2 and take the square root, and you get the x equals 3. Find the length of the shorter diagonal, that would be 3. Got to be careful reading those. Uh, next, find the diameter of a circle whose area is 36 pi. All right, well, we'll just use the area equation to find, figure this out. We're going to plug in 36 pi. We can cancel the pi's off. So therefore, r squared equals 36, which means the radius is 6. But don't put 6 as an answer. We're looking for the diameter. How many, di how many radii make one diameter? Two. So the answer is C. Two radii, two times six is 12. Next, find the arc length uh, over here. Now, arc length, can we can use this equation. All right, so we'll just plug in to this. Uh, in this case, x is 90 degrees, and the radius is 10. All right, now those cross off. Look at my answers. My answers have pi's in them. All right, so 9 to 36 reduces to 1 fourth. You got the pi, and you got 100. So this is 100 pi over 4. What's 100 divided by 4? 25. The answer would be 25 pi. All right, so that was going fast. The nice thing about a video is that you can rewind, you can pause, do whatever you need to do. That's just the front page. Now we go on to the back page, and I'm going to cut this video because I only get 20 minutes per video, and uh, there'll be a video part two coming up. All right, bye bye.